subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe to that YouTube channel. Like, subscribe, and comment. And also remember to subscribe. Subscribe. And press the notification button. Anytime we are dropping any new thing, you will be notified. God bless you. Thank you for subscribing to this channel. I may God bless you. The glory does not only rise in level from generation to generation. The glory also rises from level to level in an individual's life. Say that again. The glory does not only rise in level from generation to generation. The glory also rises in level. Also rises from level to level in an individual's life. The meaning of that is you may be at a level of glory now but there is a level that is beyond the level you are. You may be at a level of power now, a level of influence, a level of favor now, a level of grace now, but there is a level higher than where you are. We read all those scriptures yesterday. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 18. But the path of the just is the shining light. That shineth more and more unto the perfect day. They go from strength to strength. Psalm 84 verse 7. Every one of them in Zion appeareth before the Lord. We all beholding us in a glass. Second Corinthians chapter 3 verse 18. The glory of the Lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory even as by the spirit of the Lord. Yesterday we said that from generation to generation the glory rises in level. Today we are saying that not just from generation to generation but in an individual's life the glory also rises in rises from level to level. That was why he said, Arise, shine, your light is come, and the glory you carry has changed level. It has changed level. The glory is risen. Number two, commitment to the rise in glory in our personal lives is the sure way is a sure way to the attainment of our generation's glory again commitment to the rise in glory in our personal lives or in the rise in glory in individuals life is a sure way to the attainment of our generation's glory if i am committed to ensure that the glory of God in my life grows or the anointing of my life grows or increases or the favor of God grows or the blessing of God grows in my life then there is a guarantee that what God has in mind for my generation I can attend to it. Am I communicating? We are going to look at examples through scripture of men and women that we can see a steady rise in glory, a steady rise in influence, a steady rise in blessing, a steady rise in favor. Example number one, Abraham. Now in Genesis chapter 22 and in verse 2, God, that was the first level, sorry, Genesis chapter 12 verse 2. That was the first level we saw Abraham at. First of all, God said, come out of your father's house. And from your kindred, from your father's house, unto a land that I will show you. And I will make of thee a great nation. And I will bless thee. And make thy name great. And thou shalt be a blessing. 
In other words, Abraham was at a level, but not at the blessing level yet. He may have some things. Because you know that it's possible to have money and not be blessed. Because there is more to blessing than money. It's more to blessing than physical things. Abraham was at a level where God met him and where God wanted to release upon him the blessing. Now, Abraham shifted from the level God met him to Genesis chapter 13 verse 2. Where Abraham began to become, well, become rich. Now, and Abraham was very rich in cattle, in silver, and in gold. God met him literally unblessed. And God moved him to a level where he began to see riches. Now, from that level, Abraham moved to Genesis chapter 20 verse 35. And the Bible said, twenty-four verse thirty-five. And the Bible said, "And the Lord has blessed my master greatly." Now God told him he was going to bless him, and God made him rich in, in verse thirteen. And now the Lord has blessed my master greatly, and he has become great. So God. Promised the blessing, made him rich, and then took him to the place where he became great. Now we are saying that. And he's become great. And he has given him flocks and herds and silver and gold and men servant and maid servant and camels and asses. The level was shifting. Now, before this, you now go to chapter 24, the same chapter, verse 1 of it, gave the conclusion of Abraham's life. And Abraham was old and well stricken in age. And the Lord has blessed Abraham in all things. So from I will bless you to now you are rich to now you are great and now you are blessed in all things. There's a song they used to sing in SU in those days. From glory to glory is changing me. He's changing me. He's changing me. Do you know the balance? His image and likeness to perfect in me. The word of God changing my life. He's changing. He's changing me. From, from glory to glory. He's changing me. Okay, place it on the screen. Let me look at it and sing it well. His image and likeness to perfect in me. The word of God changing my life. It's changing me. From the promise to the product. From the prophecy to the reality. There are faces. I announce to someone here today. From the realm where God has spoken about what he will do in your life. You are shifting to the next level. And from the next level you are now, you are shifting to another level. And from the other level you are going, you are moving to the other level. Until what God will do in your life cannot be quantified. God has blessed Abraham in all things. There is no need to count it one by one. You believe that, shout the Lord and say, Amen. Subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe to that YouTube channel. Like. Subscribe and comment and also remember to subscribe subscribe and uh, press the notification button anytime we are dropping any new thing you will be notified god bless you thank you for subscribing to this channel and may god bless you